Tomorrow, February 14th is not only Valentine's Day, it is National Donor Day. The day is dedicated to spreading awareness and education about organ, eye, and tissue donation. And tonight, our Lisa Adams has the story of a living donor who just gave one of his kidneys to a very dear friend. And Lisa, this is through the UPMC Hammett's Kidney Transplant Program, right? A good evening, that's right. Today I met Bill Thor, who is now the 50th living donor in UPMC Hammett's kidney transplant program. Out of the 91 transplants performed since the program started back in 2016, the rest of those organs come from deceased donors. But to decide to be a living donor, to give a piece of yourself to a friend in need, is a real gift of love. All kinds of other After he donated a kidney to his dear friend Charles, doctors at UPMC Hammett's transplant program say 42-year-old Bill Thor of Erie is doing just fine. The surgery for both men took place January 24th and required a couple of days in the hospital for Thor. Still, he didn't hesitate to step up when he knew his friend of 26 years was in need. In my mind, there was no choice. It was just it was something that I needed to do for him. He needed the help. And if I could help him, I wanted to help him. As Charles' condition worsened and he needed kidney dialysis, Bill persisted. I love him like a brother, you know, and I didn't want him suffering. And Asking for the information he needed to see if he could be a match. I kept asking him, I need the information so I can see if I'm a donor, you know, if I'm viable. And after many blood and antigen tests, it turned out Bill was a match. A friend giving a friend a gift of love and life. It's just amazing, you know, that we're a match because, you know, we were friends for so long. And Doctors on the transplant team say there's a huge discrepancy between transplants needed and available organs. Close to 110,000 get on the list and they're waiting as, as we speak to get a suitable organ. And there's only like 10,000 transplants that happen a year. So Bill's decision to be a living donor helped more than just his friend. He helped a second person and probably a third or a fourth person in moving up the list. So how does it feel to be UPMC Hammett's 50th living donor? <laughs> it doesn't feel any different to me. It's just, you know, I'm glad I could help and I hope more people step forward to help other friends and family. Such a nice guy and so modest about what he did. The recipient in this case, again, Charles and his family are really, really grateful. You can make an organ donation designation through PennDOT, you know, what you do on your driver's license, to donate at the time of death. But you can also sign up to be a living donor. UPMC Hammett will have information in their lobby on National Donors Day. That's Valentine's Day tomorrow. Live in the studio, Lisa Adams, Erie News Now.